There's a lot of glitch, glamour and money in the K-pop world but however a very few idols actually see much of that money in their own pocket. If you are a true K-pop fan you definitely know these big 3 companies SM, YG and JYP and now Hype has also been added to the list. The K-pop groups and artists from these big 4 companies get paid immediately after they make their debut. However the payment system works differently from the rest of the K-pop companies which I will explain it to you in this video step by step. So before we start the video I want to tell you then majority of you who are watching my video haven't subscribed to my channel yet so hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell because we make k-pop latest news videos and training videos and fact videos delivered right on your phone notification other well-known companies ranging from mid-tier to small companies such as cube entertainment playlist rbw starship entertainment jellyfish entertainment and many more follows the break even policy where idols don't get paid until and unless they pay off their training debt which includes living expenses, dancing, singing and rapping, training fees, studio hiring fees, music video production fees, choreography fees, stylist fees, makeup fees, food and clothing expenses and also traveling expenses. It usually takes a couple of years for K-pop idols to pay back depending on how fast they can be successful in the industry. Prince Mark, a former K-pop idol, says that an average rookie K-pop idol group earns about 4000 US dollars per show, which could be more if they perform at overseas concerts. After their concert, the money that these groups make from ticket sales are collected and given an amount to the concert venue owner. After that, which is then broken down to 90s to 10%, a split between the company and the artist, before it is spent on repaying back them. Meaning that it is incredibly difficult to earn money and yes, the more comebacks the idol groups make, the bigger the debts become and this keeps going on and on like a loophole trap. Using AOA as an example, the former idols said when they debuted in 2012 they didn't get huge until a few years later still it took them until the end of 2015 when they finally paid off their debts and finally started earning money additionally he said that aoa member sol hyun was one of the hottest female idols back then garnering attention from brands including beer companies car companies telecom commercials and a lot many also leader jimin became a hot spotlight during that time when she was invited to unpretty rap star where she performed front really well and became more famous. Also member Park Choa did a lot of variety shows at the time. The group was way famous and doing well at the time in the K-pop competition. Fans usually think that idols get paid a lot of money and live a lavish lifestyle. But however that's not the case for everyone. The competition in the K-pop industry is so difficult that only a few K-pop idols group make it to the top, living the millionaire lifestyle. While the rest 90% of the K-pop artist has to survive throughout their whole life. Some idols don't even get paid even though they are quite popular for example Luna recently one member of Luna appeared in a live stream and when a fan asked about her jewelry she said that it's her mom who gifted her the item and also said that she didn't got paid till now which means that the company is screwing their artists since their debut as a message to K-pop fans I would like to say that idols from the big three companies will be fine and it is the idols from mid-level companies and the small companies that need a lot of support and love from the fans and we are requesting viewers to support rookie k-pop groups to survive in this battlefield so let us know what you think in this comment section down below and i will get back to you with a response so guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video do give a thumbs up to this video also subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because this really makes me motivate to make new videos for you so if you want to know what happened with lee jong suk during his fan meet then do watch this video right now